Hi, I'm Haley, and I'm Caitlin, and we are Game Day Gals. So today we're going to recap the Iowa game over this past weekend. The Penn State Nittany Lions broke their two-game home losing streak when they won 30 to 24 against the Iowa Hawkeyes on Saturday. In a very chilly and rainy four quarters, the Penn State Nittany Lions were able to take control of the game and win. It was a great victory that kept fans on the edge of their seats, and at the end, the sweet sound of Obama played through Beaver Stadium. All right, now we're going to talk the game, the recap of the, the game. The details of the game. Let's get into it. Yeah, so with 52 seconds into the game, very early, Blake Gilligan juggled the snap on his punt, and Iowa trapped the ball in the end zone, giving them two points, otherwise known as a safety. Mm -hmm. So with a rough start to the game, Iowa kept racking up the points. They were then leading 5-0 to zero once they got that field goal, with only 10 minutes left in the first quarter. Later in the first quarter, the Penn State Mini Lions had possession of the ball, and quarterback Trace McSorley sent it downfield to tight end Pat Fryermuth, who was in the end zone for a touchdown. And this made the score 12 to 7 Hawkeyes. That was Pat Fryermuth's fourth career touchdown catch. Unfortunately, later on, McSorley was sacked in a third down play and gave the whole stadium a scare when he was walked off the field. But then came Tommy Stevens, number two quarterback for Penn State, and he proved to the crowd that he was ready for what was in front of him. He himself scored a touchdown with a three-yard rush into the end zone, give, tying the game at 14. Then Iowa took the lead 17-14 when they got a field goal, and then Penn State's Pinnaker scored a field goal as well, tying it at 17 going into the half. So Penn State looking like they had a bright future going into the second half. Now in the third quarter, McSorley is back in and ends up running a 51-yard touchdown to take the lead. Going into the third quarter, the score was 27-17, which gave the Lions a 10-point lead, so it was looking pretty good for them. But then it came down to the fourth quarter drama. So we're going into the fourth quarter, and we know that there's a little bit of a problem closing out, so we're waiting to see what happened. Yes, and actually, there was a miscommunication between McSorley and Sanders that led to a fumble, which was recovered by Iowa. This led to Iowa scoring a touchdown and made it a one-score game. Later on in the quarter, safety Nick Scott, thank goodness, intercepts the ball right in front of the student section. It was so exciting. And then they couldn't progress downfield, so then Iowa did end up getting the ball back. Haley, tell us a little bit more about the ending of the game. Luckily, the defense was able to stop them and then run out the clock for a thrilling end to the game. Um, it was so exciting to be in the stands watching the guys rush the stands as Chef West's song Obama played. It was so much fun and everyone just had a good time and it was the perfect way to end the game. I'm Haley and I'm Caitlin and we are Game Day Gals.